Hey y'all, this is Matt with the YouTube channel Outdoorsman by Design. Out here in West Central Missouri, Show Me State, doing some turkey hunting today. It's pretty windy here. Birds haven't done much yet. Kind of staying quiet. Seems like they teach me something every time I come out here. Or I learn something different about my gear. Or a way that I can set something up better. Whether it be a camera or, you know, a tripod to shoot off of, a ground blind to sit in, what have you. Speaking of learning things, I always learn stuff from John with the YouTube channel Intense Angler. So if you guys want to pick up some good tips, go pay John a visit at Intense Angler. Now I gotta get back to my home. Hey there guys, John here of course, and boy do we have an exciting video in store for you guys today. We're actually going to be talking about vacuum sealing. I know, I know, contain yourselves, alright? Uh, we'll try to keep this as low key as possible here. But uh, seriously, this is actually a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Just because uh, the vacuum sealer has been an important tool for me in a lot of my outdoor pursuits. And I actually wanted to cover a little bit of the reasons why and show you guys uh, just some examples of how uh, this tool, I guess you'd, as you'd call it, uh, has been helpful. So uh, let's just dive right into this. We'll keep it really simple. This is not going to be a how-to video. Um, just kind of some examples, like I said, and why it's important. Um, if you want, there are some how-to videos that are actually some of my unlisted videos on vacuum sealing some different items, and they will be included down below in the description area if you want to check those out. Uh, really short and sweet how-to videos. So anyway, getting into this, uh, why is a vacuum sealer an important piece of outdoor gear? Well, food. Um, that's one of the things I like about it, and money savings. So we're all familiar with the uh, good old Mountain House meals here. In fact, I just reviewed one of these. Uh, one thing about them, they're convenient, yet they are spendy. Uh, five, six, seven bucks for one of these guys. So um, you know you're paying for the convenience there. And what I like to do is to take some other food, such as uh, these North Sides. Uh, there's some that I like. Uh, you can use whatever you like, of course. Um, I like them because they're pretty diverse, they're feeling, and they're cheap. You know, pick these up at the dollar store. And what I'll do with these is uh, use the vacuum sealer to make individual, um, you know, packages of food. And in this instance, what I've done is divvied up um, a bag like that into two separate meals. Uh, these can be lunches, uh, just quick trail dinners, what have you. And uh, obviously at a dollar for that whole package, I've got two meals here, so that's 50 cents a meal. Um, Mountain House is not going to compete with that, all right? Uh, sorry, Mountain House. But uh, anyway, so and another benefit of this, aside from uh, cost, obviously, is that you can tailor the meal. Like in this meal, uh, it's like a red beans and rice, and I've added some uh, crushed red pepper in here, a little condiment package, to kind of spice things up a little bit. So, you know, kind of tailors it to your own... Uh, your own needs I guess you could say so anyway uh, that's just one example of that the possibilities as far as food go are pretty much endless um, with the vacuum sealer and uh, one thing I did want to show you guys just because of the the money aspect and I like to eat good when I'm on the trail is something like this chili now I picked this up at the local store for like three dollars and this actually makes this whole package makes like a half a gallon of chili it's a lot of chili okay and so I can go ahead and split this up the same way I did into these uh, individual packets and get multiple meals out of this, you know, and have some good trail uh, chili while I'm out there. Uh, just add water and a few minutes of cooking time and you're good to go. So uh, that's just a few examples of the food like I uh, had mentioned. So that's a money saving aspect of the vacuum sealer and uh, one of the things that I really like about it. So. Next, uh, compactness. That's another benefit that that uh, food uh, vacuum sealer actually is going to afford you. And just some examples of that are, uh, you guys have seen me carry these dollar store cheap emergency ponchos. 
and have actually uh, these things have came in handy many many times for me uh, while I'm out there because a lot of times I won't take rain gear and rain seems to follow me around so uh, multiple occasions these have come in handy uh, they can be a little bit bulky though just depending on your system you know a lot of times I'll carry a lumbar pack and uh, space is a valuable commodity and if you go ahead and vacuum seal one of these down you can actually see the uh, difference there huge space saving dif difference so uh, there's just that um, another thing about that is that you can actually combine gear to make uh, kind of mini systems mini gear systems and what I'm talking about here is in a video I did a while back I had shown how to make a, just a quick uh, like two minute emergency shelter by utilizing one of these ponchos uh, some hand warmers and garbage bags and if you wanted to do something like that you could actually just include them in these little packets that you vacuum seal you know you got your poncho your uh, garbage bag and your hand warmers and you've just got a kind of really compact all-in-one little mini gear system there so um, another one of the benefits there um, uh, let's see keeping on that theme real quick just one more example um, survival blanket a little mylar emergency blanket here now these uh, can be somewhat bulky especially for the material and when I was throwing together a little survival kit a while back I'd actually wanted to include um, in a pocket sized survival kit some type of emergency shelter like the mylar blanket and so what I did of course was utilize my vacuum sealer to be able to allow me to include that into this uh, little survival kit and uh, you know, voila, we have shelter in our little pocket size survival kit. So, uh, just a really great um, option there for, uh, like I said, shrinking things down to size, as it were. Now, one other thing I wanted to cover on that and leads us into the next thing, which is protection. That's the other thing that vacuum sealing allows you. If you guys notice me keep looking over here, it's because my vacuum sealer is sitting over here. So, uh, just a little uh, off camera thing there. So, Anyway, what I'm talking about here is protection, and of course, important items like a survival kit, uh, maybe even a first aid kit, um, you may want to vacuum seal those. Go ahead and stick those in a little uh, pouch like that, and uh, just completely seal those. And what that's gonna allow you to do is not only shrink them down to size, and uh, afford you that uh, extra protection from the elements, uh, it's also going to deter you from digging into them for those little items. You know, you might just want a quick match or, um, you know, use that little knife you got in there or whatever it is uh, because you're too lazy to go back to the, the you know, tent or whatever to grab your knife because you left it there. Whatever the case may be, um, I just like having all my gear uh, protected and off limits to myself, which is why I do that with, like, my fire kits. Um, I generally have a lighter with me at all times, but I do like having a backup, uh, you know, fire kit with me as well. And uh, that's what I've got here. And this is another example of a mini gear system, uh, which I've put together using the vacuum sealer. And it's just got some various fire starting items. I'm not gonna go into this here. Uh, it's in one of the how-to videos though, uh, down below this video. So if you wanna check it out, it's over there, uh, how to put that together. But once again, it gives you a nice, very compact, uh, versatile little emergency backup system there. So. Uh, another great thing about the uh, good old vacuum sealer. And last but not least, what I wanted to do was kind of just wrap this all up, tie it all back together by covering something that, that brings all three of those components together, which is money saving, protection, and um, the compactness. And what a, what a good example of that is, is in my first aid kit. Now this is a first aid kit that I'll carry with me when I'm going with, with a bigger party or with children, something like that, uh, because it affords me a lot more options than the little one that I generally keep in my lumbar pack or day pack when I'm going solo. So uh, let me just show you a couple of reasons why this encompasses everything here. Now, uh, first of all, obviously on the compact issue, uh, this is a semi-large first aid kit for backpacking or hiking. Um, yet I've got a lot of stuff in this uh, for the size of the package here and that is due to the vacuum sealer. I've got ace bandages in here which you guys know how bulky those are. A roll is you know pretty big and just by flattening that out and um, vacuum seal it, it allows me to get that and include it in my first aid kit. Of course gauze pads, dressings, things like that, they can all be shrunk down to size with that vacuum sealer and included in there and like I said really 
gives you uh, extra room, it allows you to pack a lot of punch when uh, real estate's a valuable commodity. So there's that. Uh, of course, protection. Um, all of my uh, sponges, my dressings, all that are vacuum sealed and further protected in the kit. And uh, you know, I've got exam gloves, things like that, things you want to keep semi sterile. Um, obviously, st sterility is a thing that is very difficult to accomplish in the outdoors, but vacuum sealing helps with that a little bit. So, anyhow, there's that. And uh, another thing here, and this goes along the lines of money savings, is uh, these little uh, first aid packets of uh, triple ant antibiotic ointment. Now, of course, all that is is um, Neosporin. I've actually included this in another uh, unlisted video uh, quite a while back. Uh, back ago, I did it for a friend, but uh, anyway, that one will be below this too. Uh, but just a, a good way to get a lot of individual size packets of something like this, you know. So you're talking uh, pennies on the pack here, um, and carrying a tube like this really isn't realistic, anyhow. Now, I know there are other options out there, such as the little straws that you can make for. Uh, just kind of single serving sized, uh, you know, ointment options. Uh, but, you know, I just personally like carrying these. They afford me a little bit more and they're just something I've used for a while. So anyway, uh, that's really about all there is to it, guys. There's not much more to this vacuum sealing thing. Like I said, this has not been a how-to video. Uh, it's just been kind of why this is a useful tool and um, it's very useful for me. I use it in a lot of my gear. Uh, a lot of my gear systems um, utilize in some form or fashion the vacuum sealer. So uh, anyway, that's about all I got. Uh, before we do go here though, I would like to thank once again uh, Matt from Outdoorsman by Design for taking the time while you're enjoying the outdoors to film the intro for Tip of the Week. Really appreciate that bro. And uh, if you guys ain't checked out Outdoorsman by Design here on YouTube, you might want to do so. He's got a really solid channel over there. Uh, a lot of fishing, some hunting, some camping, some hiking, some how-to, some reviews, all the good stuff that we all enjoy, uh, you can find it over there. So, on a really uh, quick personal note though, Matt, uh, there is one thing I wanted to say. I know you were turkey hunting out there, and uh, guess what, buddy? I know you, you kind of blinked out there, but uh, the turkeys are hiding out over here in Idaho. I found him last time I was down on the river catfish, and so, anyway, if you want some of these turkeys, buddy, you'll have to give me a call and hook up, and I'll show you where they're at, so, uh, anyway, guys, that's about all I got, um, I hope we made this vacuum sealing thing as entertaining as possible, although I think we probably failed at it, but, uh, hopefully some useful information for you, and before we go, just want to say thanks a lot for watching, thanks for all the support, uh, I continue to appreciate it, as always, and I, as I always have, but it's, just blows me away. That's all I can say, guys. Can't believe where we're at. So, and it's all due to you guys. So, thanks a lot for that. And I'm going to shut up for now and turn this camera off. And we will be seeing you guys next time.